Hi, I'm going to show you about measuring text in Silhouette Studio. And first we need a little history lesson. Type began with blocks of metal or wood. And you had these blocks that were all the same height, even though the letters were different sizes. And you needed to size the blocks so that the biggest letter high and the lowest letter low could fit on the same block. So the size of the block was known as the point size. And originally, 72 points was equal to an inch. In digital type, we've gotten away from that. But we still use the same concept of the point size being the overall size of the font, if you can imagine it on a block. So that's the same in Microsoft Word, most of your graphics programs. And it's the same way in Silhouette Studio. But where that gets confusing is that when you click on a font, and all of these are 72 point type. If we look over here, you'll see that the measurement is the same. But because the designers have used different references, they obviously look different and have different measurements on the screen. When you click on one of these, you get a measurement here. And you, you think, well, there's a measurement. It must mean something. Okay, It doesn't mean anything that is going to be useful to you in die cutting. What it means is the height of this imaginary block for the whole font. So it really is not useful to use. So whenever you have a block of text that's still text, and you can tell because if you double click, you'll get a cursor. You'll get this horizontal bar. You'll see this little circle with the arrows. So whenever you do a single text on this, a single click on text, this measurement is useless to you. Remember, it's the height of the block. It doesn't have anything to do with the size of the letters. OK, so it's going to be different here, and it's going to be useless to you. When you want to find out how big text really is, I suggest you go to the grid and show the grid and then eyeball it. For instance, this is a one inch grid, so two of these squares is two inch. If I need two inch text, I just look at my highest and lowest point and find it till I, till I get there. Then I can read off this number, 94.7 or say 95 points. Then I know that 95 points in this font, Last King Quest, gives me a 2 inch top to bottom. And I can use that 95 points every time and be good with that. The other way I can do it is to change this to a path by ungrouping. And then these measurements become real. They're actually measuring the letters because now the letters are just any other shape. 1.981, I was a little bit off there. But the downside of this is this is not editable text anymore. Now this is just a shape like any other shape out of your library or whatever. You can't double click this and, and add more text or anything like that. So you lose the ability to edit it as text. It also is hard to come in and match text to this later because you don't know what, your si what size points it was. So the grid method is easiest. You can convert it to get a good measurement when you're sure you're done editing. But important thing I want you to remember is that as long as this is text, this reading here is a reading for an imaginary block that doesn't mean anything to you. Um, I'm not sure really why they show it that way, because it is confusing. But um, measuring type and points is actually very useful and very standard. Um, what's not standard is showing a measurement and that you assume means something that it doesn't. So ignore this measurement as long as the type is still type. Change it out of type by ungrouping it if you want that measurement to mean something. But don't do that until you're sure you're done editing the text. Because once you do that, it's not like regular text anymore. It has to be edited as a shape. I hope that helps you understand a little bit.